guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on my video. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe below. Uh, but today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the most amazing things that I was able to overcome since being diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. I was able to complete my scuba diving certification. I can't tell you how fearful I actually am of swimming. I couldn't even get into water where I couldn't touch the floor. If I couldn't touch the floor, guys, let me tell you the amount of anxiety and fear that would kick in. And it's a long story, and maybe I'll tell you guys at some point. I wasn't sure if my condition was gonna limit me in my experience to scuba dive. And surprisingly, there's very little information out there on scuba diving with rheumatoid arthritis, as I'm sure there's limited information out there on scuba diving with other conditions. Now I've not checked those, but I was lucky enough to have a dedicated nurse here in the UK who gave me her email address and asked me to email her if I had any questions around any of the things that I was gonna do around the world. If you want to scuba dive and get your PADI certification, make sure that you go to a reputable scuba diving company they will ask you to fill out a medical form. They will question you about your condition, and if they've heard many people come to them about it, they'll know a little bit more about it, and they have the knowledge to know about different medical conditions and scuba diving. That's what they're there for. That's what they're experienced in. That's what they've learned. And they will send you or recommend you a physician in the country that you're in to go get yourself checked out and make sure that they approve that you're fit and ready to scuba dive. Make sure you ask your instructor or the professional in the diving team all the questions that you can ask. If you do want to learn to scuba dive and you do want to get your PADI certification, make sure you speak to your medical professional, whether it's your nurse or your doctor. Make sure you ask them every question that you have in your mind about scuba diving with your condition. All the symptoms that you need to look out for. One of the things that I was told when I was scuba diving that I had to make sure that I looked out for was decompression sickness. The symptoms of decompression sickness are the same as the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis and the flare-ups. Make sure you know the difference between the two and if your body doesn't feel right and you don't feel right, make sure you tell someone. So if you've already started your scuba diving sessions and you don't feel good, you don't feel right, please make sure you tell your partner, please make sure you tell your diving instructor that you don't feel good and seek help as soon as you can. Make sure you do listen to your body guys because it is 100% important that you listen to your body. Don't just tell yourself there and then that you need to complete it because you can complete it at any time when your body feels right. So don't be upset guys if you don't manage to do it in the first time. Get medical help get professional help make sure you're comfortable with the sign off because once you get that sign off you know you're ready you just have to tell yourself now on paper i've been told i can do it tell your mind get your mind positive get your mind ready to say yes i can do this bear in mind i absolutely hated swimming i had a fear of getting in water where i couldn't actually touch the ground and i had rheumatoid arthritis i was ready to get my paddy certificate. So we ended up getting our paddy in October 2015. What I was secretly hoping is every time I emailed my nurse or if I spoke to a scuba diving instructor, they would tell me that actually, because of your condition, I don't think it's right for you to do this. That's what I wanted to hear. I knew myself that I could do the scuba diving. I could do the scuba diving? I actually knew I could do it. I thought if I could find something on Google that I could read, you know, someone's article, someone's blog, or even a video of someone's experience, I thought, do you know what? If I can see that, if I can read it, it's gonna inspire me to get into the water. So now I've got my sign off from the physician, it's time to build up the courage. I remember getting there and thinking, wow, there's so much equipment here, it's heavy. How am I gonna lift this stuff? If it needs to be adjusted or if you're just not comfortable make sure you tell your partner or the instructor that you're uncomfortable 
Now I've got all my equipment on, it was time to get into the pool. And the first things that they do is they want you to get comfortable with your breathing equipment. And so when you go down, you just stand there underwater breathing through your apparatus. And that guys was the first time I thought, wow, the fear that I had had suddenly gone and I was immersed in this world underwater, albeit it was in a pool, but I thought, wow, I mean, if this is how it feels, then maybe the big bad sea wouldn't be as bad. I mean, I'd seen the pictures, I'd seen videos on how beautiful it is down there. I thought, well, if I can get into the pool, I'm sure I can build my courage to get into the ocean. So, our lessons went on, we did our theory, we practiced. I was lucky that I was blessed with such a great little team. My husband being the number one supporter, but we made two great friends from it. It's time to do it. And I remember watching everyone jump off the boat. And I was the last one to jump off. And I remember getting in. And at first, there was that moment that takes your breath away because now you're no longer in a pool, you're in the ocean. And I remember just thinking, take a deep breath, you'll be fine. And then the last day, guys, I remember the feeling of just wanting to get into the water. And my husband saw me and he was like so shocked when I said, I wanna be the first one to jump off. And he goes, you were just gone, you were in there, you were in the water. And he goes, that was so amazing, it was so great to suddenly see someone who absolutely hated swimming, someone who was told that she couldn't do this because of her condition, to have someone who's just gonna jump straight into the water and be the first one to want to go down. It's so amazing to say that I have actually got my PADI certification. I'm PADI certified, guys, yes! Not only am I PADI certified, I am no longer scared of getting in that big bad ocean. In fact, I can't wait to dive into the next one. If you have any questions about scuba diving or you want more information, please leave a message in the comments below or message me privately. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you liked this video and want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Hit the subscribe button. It's right there. Right there. I don't really know why I just... And who am I talking... I'm not, I'm not actually talking to anyone. There's only a window there. I think I'm just going to switch off. See you next time.